Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Pokemon Blaze Black 2. This is a guy. Norman! Do I want to fight Norman? Did I fight you before? I don't think I'll fight you right now. I think, um... Uh, I'll go and face all of the gym leaders at some point in the after game. Um, but for now, I'm going to be exploring this Driftvale Tunnel or whatever it's called. Cute Pokemon or tough Pokemon? I go for functional Pokemon. And um, I'm going to be fighting my way through here. This is a new area in Pokemon Black and White 2, for those of you who don't know. Hiker Tepai. He's going to send out an errand. And um, I like it. This is one of my favorite additions to Pokemon Black and White 2. Actually, there's a lot of additions that I really like in Pokemon Black and White 2. And we're slowly going to see more and more of them in the after game. Anyway, we are going to go and use a uh, Dark Pulse. Actually, that may not be a good idea because uh, Steel resists Dark in this generation. Oh, well, whatever. You're only an errand. And that's not going to be very effective. You're going to use Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam is one of those moves that does uh, variable damage depending on weight, I think. That I was alluding to in the last part. Dark Pulse. It's going to finish you off. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. Good. Aaron went down. Uh, gained some experience. Not very much at all. Golbat is going to be up next. And Golbat. Enjoy your Flamethrower. Because that's slightly stronger than Dark Pulse. <clears throat> <clears throat> Again, my throat. It's weird. You are going to use Nasty Plot. It's not going to come in very effective. Not going to come in super effective, as you might say, in a Pokemon game. Uh, because I'm just going to finish you off with a Flamethrower. And the Flamethrower is going to take the Golbat down. Gain some experience. The Wile. Alright, you're a pure Stell type. You can be fought with a Flamethrower as well. No Mega Form in this game, because those weren't in introduced until Generation 6, obviously. And the Wile is going to be uh, slow cooked with the flamethrower, or maybe quickly cooked, because flamethrower is probably heating stuff up very quickly, very fast. Sableye! The uh, equivalent to Mawile. I think they're both version exclusives or something like that. Anyway, Sableye has no weaknesses, but that doesn't matter because you are toast. Id. Metal Burst. Alright, whatever. That was heavier hitting than I really would have liked it to be. You are going to use Recover, that's right, you have Prankster, you can give priority to status moves. Okay, well, if you keep using Recover, it's only a matter of time until you get burned. And, uh, I can take you down. Cool, burn! Alright, I think I can take you down on this hit. You're going to use Mean Look, which isn't going to affect anything. Except I can no longer escape, which doesn't really matter. Anyway, I doubt I'm going to get a level 75 out of this, but... I did not. We are going to, uh... D d excuse me, did you say those were key Pokémon? You and I have some talking to do. Uh, sure, let's ride this mining cart, see where it leads us. Uh, I don't know offhand where any of these go. Okay, this is a strength boulder. I know where this is, I think. And, um... Let's see, that made it possible to move boulders around. This is, a. Uh, yes, I would like to use another one. This is... Basically, a mine shaft. Which I think is cool, because I don't think there's a lot of mine shafts in Pokémon. Actually, there was that one mine-ish place... And, um, actually, I don't know where this is. What's with these boulders down here? Uh, there was that one minus place in X and Y. But, eh. Whatever. So, we're going to be fighting this hiker, Manuel. Emmanuel, and we're going to be facing a Swoobat. And I know just what to do with the Swoobat. And that's going to involve a lot of Dark Pulse. Or maybe just one Dark Pulse, depending on how things go. We'll see. That's an Intimidate, lowering your attack. You're a special attacker anyway, so that doesn't matter. Dark Pulse! Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, all right. Super effective. It took the sweep bat down in one hit. <clears throat> okay, Golem is up next. I don't want to stay into phase the Golem. I'm going to go and have Liver face the Golem. Okay. And Liver can go and use a fancy, uh, fancy. Fancy is like my favorite word to just throw in front of other words. Have you noticed? Uh, but anyway, it's going to be a Leaf Storm. A truck just made a very strange noise from outside, and it sounded like it was singing for a moment. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Anyway, Golem is going to go down. I'm going to get the special attack boost. And, alright. Gained 5,000 experience. Torkoal is up next. Let's bring back Rib. It occurs to me that I should have the leftovers on Rib instead of whatever the leftovers are on. But anyway. Let's go and take care of the Torkoal. I think another uh, Dark Pulse should do the trick. Intimidate is going to not lower your attack thanks to the White Smoke. Alright, let's use Dark Pulse. 
And... Alright, that was okay. Inferno. That's the uh, fire type version of a dynamic punch. I don't know how much damage it would have done anyway. It's got 100 base power uh, and a 100% ch and chance of burning if it hits. But fire types can't really be burned, so that doesn't really affect me. Anyway, uh, Rib is now level 75. I'm going to switch somebody, out, somebody else out into the leadoff once I uh, see what is down here. It has to be something on this rock, no? Alright. Um, let's go and, uh, let's go and do the thing with my Pokemon real quick. Switch for Amygdala. Switch items. Move that to Amygdala. Leftovers in the scope lens are, uh, uh switched. Alright, um, here's another Strength Boulder. And here are two items. An HP up, which I doubt I can use. And a Nugget. Okay. Nuggets I can sell. Um, before I fight you, I'm going to go see what's on this, uh, this, this little island in the middle here. That is a steel gem, in case you wanted to give an extra same type attack bonus to a steel type move, which I don't know why you would. And there's nothing on that rock. Alright, so now I get to fight this guy. Get back here! Alright, I didn't read a word of what you said because I never read a word of what anybody says, unless I'm, like, reading all of the dialogue, which I'm not doing in this game. Uh, you are sending out a Machamp, which, hmm, I feel like I've seen that before. I've seen, like, three or four Machamp in this recording session. Uh, that being the last video in this one. And Machamp is going to go have a nice fly, which may not do very nicely for me, because if you have... Okay, so you, you have Guts instead of a uh, No Guard. Because if you had No Guard, you would have hit me anyway. And Fly... Go... Yes, is going to take the Machamp down. Machamp has fainted. Migdala gains 5,000 experience. And Conkeldor, who does not have access to, uh, to no guard, so I'm slightly less worried about. Uh, you are tightening your focus. That doesn't matter because I'm getting, as they say, out of dodge. Or maybe into dodge because, like, I'm, I'm coming back and attacking again. Let's fly. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to take the Conkeldor down. Or Conkeldor. Whatever it's pronounced as. Uh, Hitmonchan, so you're gonna have a team of fighting type Pokemon, I see. Are you gonna, tell me, are you gonna use a fancy... Again, there it goes saying the word fancy. Um, you're not gonna use, okay, you're gonna use close combat. I was going to say uh, Focus Punch, but apparently not. And if I can take a Machamp and a Conkeldor down, I can definitely take a Hitmonchan down with Fly. Alright, gain experience. Beautiful, 266 damage, uh, points of physical attack, rather, not damage. Give up on Hyper Beam, because Hyper Beam sucks. Maybe if it was Giga Impact, probably not if it was Giga Impact. Anyway. That's nice, my dog has gone screaming out of the room. Not literally screaming, but uh... My dog has left my room. And I don't know why. And um... This is going to be Drill Pokemon. So are you telling me that um... You have a, what's it called, a Drillbur, an a, a, a Ex Excalibur, Ex Excadrill? Why am I having- there it goes, the Excadrill. Why am I having so much trouble coming up with the Pokemon names? Both for, like the moves, the abilities, the items, the Pokemon themselves, everything. Anyway, I have a nice flamethrower just for situations like this. For annoying steel types such as yourself. That's kind of a double meaning with annoying, as in like, the steel type is annoying and for uh, bothering steel types, in case you were wondering. Uh, you, you sort of sense, but fortunately sir, you do not have access to any priority moves, so that doesn't worry me at all. And Excadrill has gone down. Alright, I'm going to leave in, now that my entire team is level 75, except for Scissor, who's level 76, I'm going to leave in Amygdala to level 80, um, as my leadoff Pokemon. Anyway, Rapirio is coming up. I say I'm going to leave him in and I switch him out. Him out, her out, whatever it happens to be. Uh, because that is logic. Anyway, Rapirio, my designated uh, rock ground kill er, killer is going to be uh, Liver. <clears throat> and that... This is all she wrote for a period. Special attack has gone up, okay. I can live with that. Gained 5,580 experience. Nidoking is up next. And for Nidoking, do I want to use Amygdala or do I want to use somebody else? Kind of want to use some uh, Amygdala. And Amygdala can go and uh, use a fancy outrage. I need to stop saying the word fancy, god. But it's going to be a very classy and well dressed outrage. And. There goes the Nidoking. Good game. Anything else? 
I think that's it. That's it for Worker Paul. Yes, I did defeat your drill Pokemon. And I think... I can, um... Can I go back here real quick? Ride the minecart, whatever. And I want to go and, uh... Because I should have come out on the other side of this. Oh, look. Okay, so you're blocked by boulders. Uh, what do you have to say real quick? Dig, dig, dig. None of my Pokemon know Rock Smash. Alright, that's not a problem. I can probably teach them Rock Smash. Um, bag. Rock Smash? What happens if, uh, excuse the mouse cursor that will be coming up on the screen. But if I uh, go and sort this by number. Sort of the items by number. I don't have Rock Smash. Oh, I do have Rock Smash. Oh, it's a TM now. That makes sense. Uh, that Yeah, it's coming back to me because it's not an HM. All of my Pokemon can learn Rock Smash. Who has an HM and a TM move that I can reteach? I don't... I think Brick Brick might be a TM move, but I don't want to risk it and be wrong and not be able to recover Brick Brick. Um, Flamethrower and Sludge Bomb I know are. So I'm going to go and use a... Uh, get rid of Flamethrower. Okay. And Ruben has learned Rock Smash. And now, whoops. Now, you. Yes, I do know Rock Smash. Alright. There we go. Having moves on you and stuff like that. Alright, now we can tunnel into Twist Mountain and we can go home and we can do all sorts of fun things. Um, see, I'm going to now go and recover my Flamethrower. Which should be 30-something? 30 35. Alright, teach Flamethrower to a Pokemon. That's going to be Rib in place of Rock Smash. And we can uh, move on unobstructed. Okay, I like how all of my Pokemon can learn Rock Smash. That's uh, quite humorous. Anyway, now that that's been done with, uh, the minecart, in case you're wondering, I suppose, is there in case you don't have a Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash so that you can uh, progress through the tunnel without having to go and do that little event. Anyway, Worker Morgan with two ends. Doug Trio. <clears throat> he comes up through the ground because we we're we not allowed to know what's what's beneath Doug Trio's feet. Um, Outrage. You can use Dig. Which doesn't affect me, by the way. Just, just letting you know that. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, Outrage. It's going to do damage to the Doug Trio. Probably a lot of damage. Okay, good. You don't have very much HP after all. Uh, gained experience. Not very much of it. Excadrill. I would like to switch Pokemon because I do not want to be locked into Outrage against this thing. Um, flamethrower, I suppose. Because Flamethrower is always nice. And I think Houndour has a... Houndoom, rather, has higher spe special attack than Dragonite does. Um, let's see. Flamethrower! Good, I'm faster. An Earthquake would have been worrying. See how easy this game can be when you're not fighting veterans left and right? Anyway, there goes the extra drill. And there goes some experience. And I've defeated Ver Worker Morgan. Worker Morgan. Worker Morgan. Alright, that is a... Uh, I'm going to have to come in from another angle. Nice. Alright, well, I'll, I'll worry about that later. And this is the, uh, the room that I was in before. And... Looping around... I kind of want to run into those those dust clouds and see what might be there. That I did not want to do. I wanted that was a machine. I kind of want to run into the dust clouds and see what might be there, but I kind of don't because it could be Pokemon, and I don't necessarily want to fight the Pokemon. All right, whatever you just told me, I guess that's that's brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> We're uh, Ranger Maxwell, and you're gonna send in a fortress. Who is? I feel like this should be a water Pokemon because it's like kind of a clamshell design if that makes sense but it's a uh, definitely a bag bug or at least pineco is it evolves from a bag bug hmm that's a random observation anyway that's your sturdy kicking in and you are burned you can use double edge so you're gonna not really survive this bye am i going to recover all the hp from uh the leftovers as i do from taking uh, all the hp that i took damage all the HP of damage I took. Yes, I did, by the way. Whatever. Uh, Ruined Maxwell, I sent out Sunflora. 
And Ranger Maxwell can take us some flora. Ranger Maxwell is possessed of some flora. Ranger Maxwell... You, you, I'm trying to speak English, and I'm not doing it very well. Anyway, that's another double edge, which did slightly more damage than the fortress did. Um, why do all of your Pokemon have double damage? Double edge? That makes very little sense. But anyway, Sunflora can go down. All right, Sunflora has fainted, and Amygdala gained 4,000 4, experience, grew to, grew to level 76. And um, all right, there goes the rest of the HP. Armaldo is up next. Kind of don't want to face an Armaldo, but I kind of do. Rock Bug type. Take neutral damage from Flamethrower. Probably take a lot of damage from Outrage. Please have lower physical defense and special defense or something like that. Ooh, Rock Blast. Okay, so that's going to mean bad things for the uh, multi-scale. Critical hit. Please only hit twice. Please only hit three times. Please only hit four times. Good. Alright, anyway. Leftovers recovery. Please don't have a uh, priority and we should be good to go. Good. Outrage. <clears throat> Alright. Ramaldo is done. Gained experience. And, uh... Alright. We're back in the yellow. Vile Plume is up next. What in the world can a Vile Plume do to me? Vile Plume, not Vile Plume. Just, again, speaking English and it's not going very well. So, uh, vile, vile Plume has gone down, and I'm confused, I don't really care. Gained experience, defeated Worker Maxwell. So you can go back in your Pokeball and you can be unconfused. That is a Lumberry, which if I were to play the Lumberry strategy, I would uh, be very happy about obtaining, because I could use that. It's a metal coat for Evolving Scyther into Scissor and, and some other things. Uh, I would be very happy about that Lumberry, because that would mean that I can use Outrage multiple times without uh, being confused. Anyway. Your turn. I didn't read a word you said again. Um, yeah, that's just a uh, a thing that you'll see that I do a lot of is not read a word that these trainers say. Anyway, nose passes up is not up next because this is the beginning of the battle, but nose passes up anyway. And I don't know what I want to really do to this nose pass. Um, outrage, perhaps? Migdala? All right, that's a sturdy. I don't know if you're going to... You're going to use Zap Cannon, and I'm, and I'm going to avoid the attack. All right. Have fun with that. All right. Outrage is going to take you down. No more Zap Cannon. Ooh, dodged a bullet there. And, um... All right. Going to get some more leftovers recovery. Creepy, but closer to uh, three digits. Proba Pass. All right, so I don't want to stand for a Proba Pass. Scizor. Scyther. That's not a Scyther. That's a, I'm going to switch to the Polyrath. Because Polyrath has water, and I think uh, despite being uh, physical, uh, close combat will probably lower my defenses. Close combat will lower my defenses, what am I talking about? And I don't really want to contend with that, so I'm going to go and use uh, Surf. Which should do a lot of damage anyway. Proper Pass does have uh, quite something for uh, the physical and special defenses. Ooh, you're going to use Lock On. Alright. You have Locked On to Wrist. I am going to use Surf. You were probably having in mind to go and use a uh, Zap Cannon. Purple Pass has gone down. Alright. Graveler. Yeah, why not? Let's stay in. Okay. Graveler can go and take a Surf. Probably not very nicely. Unless you have Sturdy as well. You have Sturdy as well. Um, you're going to use Double Edge. And you're going to take yourself down, which is very nice, and it's a good thing that I wasn't using close combat, because I would have taken twice as much damage, taken twice as much damage as I did if I had used close combat. Anyway, that's it for Worker Leo. And the next Worker is going to be up here somewhere. Um, hmm. Another one of those rock things. Let's see, first, before I do anything, that's Max Revive, which is good, because I've been using a couple of those. And... Hello. <clears> hmm. <throat> Again, with my throaty noises. I don't know. So. What does this worker got? Worker Brand. Alright. That's an Onyx. Alright. And I don't really have anything that I would want a Dragonite to face an Onyx with. So I'm going to switch on out again. Into probably... Nope, not the bag. I'm not going to switch into the bag. I'm just going to have my bag fighting my battles for me. 
Uh, we're going to be using the water type again. Onyx has a very good special physical defense. Not very good at all special defense. You're going to use Stone Edge, going to avoid the attack. Um, so we'll see what a Sandstorm, okay. We'll see what I can do with a, uh, a wrist and a surf and some things of that nature. Okay. You have gone down. Onyx has fainted. Uh, 916 experience, which is not very much at all. Steelix is up next. I think Steelix is going to get the same treatment as Onyx. <clears throat> and that treatment, as uh, I've, I've put it, it's going to be a surf. You're going to be knocked over by the uh, rush of water. And you have sturdy. <clears throat> Stone Edge. I'm not worried about Stone Edge in the slightest. Yeah, I'm, f I'm a fighting type, you see. Unfortunately, you're not affected by uh, by a Sandstorm, so you're not going to be taken down by it. <clears throat> so, Steelix has gone... Oh my god, my throat. Steelix has gone down, and so has Worker Brand, or whatever your face is called. And... Alright, so I see... It's on that rock. Where do you take me? Yes, I do want to ride your mining cart. Alright, so I think this is going to be... This is that one area in um in the front of the room that that's blocked by a rock. Yeah. So I can push this out of the way. And apparently on the floor is a full heal. That's nice. Full heals are nice. I used a couple of those. Another hidden item. And a non-hidden item. That is a rare bone. That is, that is something else I can sell for a lot of money. <clears throat> and on this rock is a blue shard. There is a, uh, I haven't been paying much attention to the Funfest missions, but there is a uh, Funfest mission that involves uh, collecting shards and stuff like that. Where do you lead me? You're not going to battle me, clearly. Um, and uh, this cave is an excellent place to do that Funfest mission, because you can collect a lot in, that, in here. Anyway, we are going to ride the mining cart, see where I come out. Alright, this is, uh, I think this is going to be the room to fight a certain legendary Pokemon. Oop, nope. Okay. Let's, uh, let's use Surf. Uh, I don't know how to get to the room that involves fighting the legendary Pokemon, then. Oh, maybe it's in here? Iron, cool. I must have a ton of vitamins at this point in the game. Because, uh, I use so many. And I don't, uh, I pick up so many and I don't use any. I was, I meant to say. Um... Yes, repels effect. I yeah, I would like to use the next repel. I mean, uh, you there? Yes, I would like to ride your mining cart. And this is one of the rooms that was blocked by a rock smash. Okay. Ooh, strength was already activated, which tells me that these these maps are part of the same map, but um, just hidden from each other, so you can't see them visibly. Anyway, where am I now? Oh, hello. Does it now? What does uh what does the door say? Camera work. If I recall, there's a bit of a puzzle in here, isn't there? No hidden items. Nope, I guess there isn't a puzzle in here, okay. What do these pillars say? Iron, rock, and ice, or whatever they were. I think Iron Rock and Ice. That doesn't say anything. Nine steps right and blank steps down from the eyeball. That can be bruised for... The, only, the answer can only be found when the moon is in the sky. So, uh, at night, in other words. That can be brute forced. But, black and white. Um, yeah. I, th I want to say it's like six or seven steps down from the eyeball. Nine steps to the right and six or seven steps down from the eyeball. But... I'm not exactly sure. Do these things say anything? Alright. No? No? So these are our ruined statues. Okay. Um, does it actually do anything when the moon is not in the sky? Uh, it does during the daytime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello. I am. Oh, that's cool. 
Iron Chamber. I was gonna say, I didn't think this NPC was here in the uh, vanilla games. Iron Chamber. Obtain the Iron Key. Infrared Connections. And here's the other one. The Iceberg Chamber. I guess I would be uh, getting the Rock Chamber in the, uh, the regular version of the game by default. Or something like that. Anyway, Iceberg Key. Alright, can we please have the text scroll a little bit faster? I take it there wasn't any way to uh, make this event less sucky. I think if you were to play this at night, the answer would be somewhere around here-ish? Hmm. Anyway. I'll explore the ruins during another time. Um... Actually, if I uh, go into my emulator settings, is there a way to just change the DS clock time? To make it not like not based on the Windows time? Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to leave that mystery for another day. Um, I don't know how close I am to the end of this area. Alright, I'll just fight this last trainer and call it a video. Uh, because that area comes out in the Glaceon Room of Twist Mountain, which is interesting. And I, again, I don't want to break up um, areas over... I don't want to break up errors over multiple videos if I can help it. Anyway, you have four Pokemon, so this may take a little while. Ferrothorn is one. And the Ferrothorn is not going to like the flamethrower very much, coming from the Amygdala. Imagine that if your brain just spewed fire like that on command. But anyway, we are going to use this. Again, this is exactly why I've taught flamethrower to Amygdala. For uh, annoying steel types just like yourself. Ferrothorn went down. Alright, gained experience. Gained some, uh... Gained some leftover recovery. Almost got to 100 three digits, but not quite. Ranger Katie is sending out Jump Bluff. And 180 points pain, 180 points pain. I have stronger physical attacks, so I'm going to use Bounce. Alright, that's right, Jump Bluff is very fast. Please, when you come down, don't paralyze me. Please, don't paralyze me. Damn it. Anyway, Amygdala is paralyzed. We're going to see what we can do anyway. Um, let's see. Go! Yes! Jump Bluff went down. Amygdala is that close to another level. I may just Magikarp switch you out of this battle with the Cradilly. And uh, go into a... Uh, do you have Storm Drain for the ability? I might have Storm Drain for the ability. Oh no, that's right. I've got to uh, continue with the Outrage. Because I am locked into that and I can't switch out quite yet. Anyway, Cordelia is going to take some damage. Okay, and I'm confused. Good, because I didn't want to go three turn outrage and risk facing a move that I don't want to face. Let's see, let's go and nope on out into Pancreas. Because Pancreas has a uh, several fighting type moves, several moves that are super effective against this, that being a fighting type move. Spit up, perfect. Uh, and a. Uh, uh, a bullet type move, a uh, steel move, bullet punch. Um, let's see, uh, speaking of bullet punch. Alright, that is excellent. Cradelia has gone down. And Pancreas has gained, Amygdala rather has gained a level. Pancreas has gained experience, is uh, more like it. And I guess I can stay in against the Blossom. And go and use a uh, Bug Bite. And this is going to be it for the Blossom. All right, there you go. Blossom has gone down, and... Uh, Pancreas is going to level 77. Now, not, in a, now not only am I, uh... Like, having scratchy throat voicey issues, but I'm yawning on recording, so that's fun. Anyway, excitement up ahead, yes, indeed. But fortunately, unfortunately, whichever, it depends on your point of view. Uh, I am going to go and, um... Probably call it a video here. There's not much more. That's a frozen ore. That's probably for... Who would that be for? I don't know. Uh, there's not much in that cave if you don't have the uh, the legendary golems on you. And it doesn't appear that there are any hidden items. And I don't have an Eevee that I want to evolve into a Glaceon, so we won't be doing that. But, um... Okay. Let's get on out of here, and I'm going to end this off. My name is Dragonite. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later.